Hi friends, welcome to Jesus Time today. Let's make our beginning together. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow. It's time to talk to Jesus now. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we're going to start with the song, This Little Gospel Light of Mine. I want you to have your gospel lights ready. This little gospel light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little gospel light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little gospel light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. The next one is, don't you try to it out. We don't want someone to blow it out. Don't you try to it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't you try to it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't you try to it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And when you talk about your gospel light, when we say the word gospel, that means good news. And today we're going to learn about how the disciples could tell the good news to other people. We're going to learn about the story of Pentecost this week. Pentecost happened 50 days after Jesus came back alive at Easter. Now I have a big book we're going to read to you today, and I have it on a chair over here, so I do need to turn the camera a little bit so we can see this big book down over here. We will see how we can all see it together. It's called Coming and Going at Pentecost. So when you see the fire, that's the word come. And when you see the wind, that's the word go. There's a little bit of a glare on there, but G-O spells go. Coming and Going at Pentecost. This story is from the Bible. You can read about it in Acts chapter 2. Jesus made a promise to his disciples. He said, though I must go to heaven, soon the Holy Spirit will come. He will help you go many places and tell everyone about me and the forgiveness I give to you. After the disciples watched Jesus go up to heaven, it was time for them to go to Jerusalem. There they waited for the Holy Spirit to come. Let's go back to this page for a second. This is when Jesus was ascending into heaven. That was our lesson from last week. Finally, the special day arrived. On Pentecost, the disciples and the other believers had come together in one place. They heard a strong wind. Can you make this sound like the wind? Come from heaven. The sound filled the whole house. It could be heard in the streets of Jerusalem. They saw flames like fire come to rest over each of their heads. They knew what this meant. It meant that the Holy Spirit Jesus had promised had come. Do you see the little flames of fire all over their heads? Because the Holy Spirit had come to them, the disciples began speaking in different languages. These were languages they had never heard, never learned before. It was a miracle. 
Outside the house, a big crowd had started to come together. The people had come from all over the world and spoke many different languages. They were amazed to hear their own language come from this house. And these words over here are the different languages that they are speaking. They're speaking Hebrew, Greek, Latin, and English. English is the language that we speak, and that says, praise the Lord. Other words here are hallelujah. So they're all praise the Lord, but they're all in different languages. What is happening? Some people asked. They did not want to go home without an answer. Others just laughed at the disciples' words. Jesus' disciple, Peter, decided to go talk to the people. Standing with the other disciples, he spoke words that had come from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come, said Peter. God sent the Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. God wants you to know that all who come to him for help will be saved. He sent his son, Jesus, to be our savior. Jesus chose to come to earth for this reason. He wants to forgive our sins and give us eternal life by God's grace. Peter said Jesus chose to come to live on earth with us and become one of us, even though many people told him to go away. He stayed. Jesus stayed, even though it meant he had to go to his death on the cross. Jesus died for us, but that wasn't the end. After three days, it was time for Jesus to come back to life again at Easter. Later, when the time was right, Jesus had to go back to heaven. He promised to send, spend, excuse me, send the Holy Spirit. See the different pictures of his life when he was born at Christmas? when he was teaching people about God's love, when he died on the cross, and when he came back alive at Easter. Peter said the Holy Spirit has come to share Jesus' love and forgiveness. God wants you to believe in Jesus and be baptized. This is a picture of people being baptized. It says in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Many people believe what, she, what Peter had said. The Holy Spirit led 3,000 people to come to faith and be baptized that day. Through them, God's word began to go out into the rest of the world. God does come to us also with his forgiveness. He wants us to go and tell everyone about his amazing love and blessing. The Holy Spirit does come today too and leads us to live in faith as his people. Because God is with us, we can go and tell others about Jesus our Savior. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You can see that these children are being baptized in this picture. You will hear those words in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in a baptism. If you were listening at the start of our Jesus time today, we also said it there. I'm going to close the story right now, and I'm going to leave it right here on this picture, and we will close with a song today. And the song goes like this. On the day of Pentecost came God's Spirit from above. Spirit, come today, we pray. Fill our hearts with faith and love. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, fill our hearts, we pray. I want you to try that song after me. On the day of Pentecost came God's Spirit from above. Spirit, come today, we pray. Fill our hearts with faith and love. 
Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come fill our hearts, we pray. And now we are also going to pray together. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow. It's time to talk to Jesus now. Dear God, please fill our hearts with your Holy Spirit. Help us to tell your gospel, the good news that you are alive and that you love us so very much. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for giving us everything we need. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. See you soon, friends.